Overall, the snow is a welcome sight for Colorado. In fact, this time last year was bad. Colorado is experiencing extremely dry conditions. And Thursday will actually mark the one year anniversary of the start of the East Troublesome Fire in Grand County. In fact, the two largest wildfires on record were burning at this time last year. And thanks to Mother Nature, this fall we are not mm. seeing those devastating fires. Tonight we are taking an in-depth look at the moisture comparison in 2020 compared to 2021. Now 2020 was extremely dry year. We saw less than nine inches of total moisture for the entire year. And taking a closer look at how this breaks down in early June and July of last year, we were at less than five inches of moisture compared that to 2021. We had doubled that amount at 10 inches by June and July. Now we're not out of the woods just yet. Over the last six to eight weeks, conditions have dried out considerably, which means we could still see wildfires in our state. And when it comes to the East Troublesome Fire, here's a deeper look at just how devastating it was. It was the second largest wildfire in state history and the single most costly with nearly $550 million in insurance losses. 366 mm. homes burned to the ground, affecting hundreds of families. Well, tonight, Denver 7's Russell Haythorn kicks off our coverage ahead of the anniversary with a story about moving on. Only an artist. This is the first piece that I painted after the fire. Can capture so much beauty in the wake of destruction. Uh, this just kind of came up and spoke to me. Photographer Keith Kratz snapped this photo two weeks after the East Troublesome Fire. Something a lot of people find electricity running through this area of it. His wife, Laura, an oil painter, composed this piece this past spring. There were baby aspen trees all over and the forest floor was buzzing with bumblebees and hummingbirds. Keith and Laura have owned the art gallery on Main Street in Grand Lake since retiring from corporate jobs in Kansas City five years ago. This is what retirement's all about. But today there. is moving day. There we go. It's hard to close something that you've built and worked really hard on to make it special. I mean, in high school, all I had on my mind was Colorado. This was a dream for Keith and Laura. And it's been really popular with people. A dream singed by that same fire they found beauty in. He gave me the deed to our house and said it's paid off and we don't have to work so hard. That was the thing, okay. Um, and then two weeks later, we lost everything. Family photos, I mean, we don't have any of that. And then the challenges of losing our lease essentially here at the gallery and realizing that we couldn't afford to buy a house or build a house and buy the building that the gallery was in. While others have found peace and healing through rebuilding. We have great friends here that have rebuilt beautiful places already and we love that they can do that and they have that in them to do it. Keith and Laura both know it's not in them to do the same. We know that we can't really glow, grow and flourish in the middle of this. We, we pretty much do have to leave. To get onto the healing process, we need to be in a totally different environment. Construction costs and insurance delays have simply made rebuilding too difficult, not to mention yeah. Yeah, the emotional pain. You know, it's really hard to heal in the middle of a burn scar. And your heart and soul and everything is in it. And then the community, as wonderful as they are, that just adds to it. It's, it's a big package. And then to lose all that in a fire, we have our community, but we don't have anything that's us. Mm. You know, uh, just simple things like any little card or letter from my mom and dad, personal, gone. So they're off. <laughs> There's going to be days. It's yours if you want to. To Washington State to be closer to grandkids. Definitely a blessing there. And, and where we're headed with the grandkids and our daughters, you know, in, in an area that's beautiful, that's where we need to be. There's gonna be an Colorado office in the street. basement of the house. It's my Colorado. <laughs> <laughs> a change in direction. You know, we never really thought we would leave Colorado. We had no plans to leave Colorado. Thanks to mother nature's destructive beauty. And they find the hope of renewal with the snow and the blue sky. In Grand Lake with photojournalist Adam Hilberry, it will always be a part of you. Russell Haythorn, Denver 7.
And through this tragedy, your generosity has been overwhelming. Thanks to Denver 7 Gives viewers, over the last year, we have raised more than $300,000 to help Coloradans impacted by these devastating wildfires. And we will continue our week-long coverage Monday night on Denver 7 News at 10 as we hand out your donations to help people recover and rebuild from the devastation.